let us start from cervical vertebra they are the first vertebra we have to talk about so let us start now cervical vertebrae there are seven cervical vertebrae they are present in the neck region cervical basically means neck so there are seven this color is not visible i guess so there are seven cervical vertebrae so there are seven in number let me show it like that so there are seven in number out of these seven vertebra i we have discussed the structure of uh, typical vertebra in the last lecture so i told you there is a typical vertebra and atypical means having some deviation from the normal structure so there are first vertebrae first cervical second cervical and actually seventh cervical they are atypical that means they shows a normal deviation from the normal structure they show some deviation so they are atypical vertebra now that you need to understand and the third vertebrae the fourth vertebrae the fifth vertebrae third to sixth i should say they are actually typical vertebrae so they are typical vertebra we need to vertebrae basically we need to understand uh, about the first cervical vertebra let us start that and this is actually called as first is called as atlas why it is called as atlas you will realize just after some time but before i'll come to the process exactly what is the structure and so uh, before i'll come to the diagram let us discuss the structure here it is a ring shaped structure so basically atlas let me write the characteristic you will realize these characteristic once i'll show the diagram so about the characteristic let us talk about so it is a ring shaped vertebra it has uh, no neural spine so neural spine is absent here neural spine now you can understand the downward structure that should be there that is not up that is not there so it is look like a ring you know so neural spine is absent it is a first vertebra centrum is absent again right so centrum is absent why centrum is required i will show you don't worry centrum is absent here even pre and post zygapophysis are reduced they are small so pre and post zygapophysis are highly reduced are reduced apart from this what is there there is a canal that is present and that is called odontoid canal i'll let you know what is the meaning of odontoid so don't worry so odontoid canal is present odon it is odontoid canal is present so a canal is present that is called odontoid canal so again seven vertebra it is a atypical uh, three are atypical first atypical second atypical seventh atypical first vertebrae it is called as atlas itself atlas is a ring shaped structure in the atlas neural spine is absent neural spine is highly reduced it is absent centrum is absent here pre and post zygapophysis are absent now let us try and see how the structure look like let me go to another slide and then i'll show you the structure so basically i have the structure here and this is the animation but let me draw it for you and then i'll show you how the structure looks like so basically it is a ring shaped structure now because centrum is absent here and as i told you pre and post zygapophysis are reduced so they are present but they are reduced a structure like that neural spine is absent also so this is also not there so neural spine is absent now it is looking like a hat or ring of course now what we said let me try and draw we said that of course a uh, neural canal is present in all the vertebrae i told you so let us hear that is neural canal it is a neural canal i mean to say through this spinal cord passes so it is neural canal on the upper side on the upside of it there is another opening that is present it is called as actually it is not a separate opening i'll let you know it is called as odontoid canal odontoid canal why it is called as odontoid canal you will let i'll let you know these are reduced transfer processes facet two facet are present here this is one and two this is called as basically 
facet for occipital condyle so these are basically facet for occipital condyle occipital condyle what are occipital condyle actually if i talk about our skull our skull it is situated it is put on the atlas now try and understand this is our head right this is the head of our now this head it is there on the cervical vertebra on the cervical the first cervical vertebra it is called as atlas why the name is atlas it is given to this vertebra i'm sure you know when we talk about earth so there is a man you know who is holding that complete earth on the shoulder of him so that is why atlas the name basically come from there so the head it is like a earth and it is you know uh, hold it on a uh, cervical vertebra that is what the first cervical vertebra it is called as atlas vertebra now on our head on the skull of ours we have condyles we have two occipital condyle all of organism do not have two occipital condyle we do have two occipital condyle let us talk about some birds some birds have only one occipital condyle that is why they can move their neck a lot you know they can move their neck in in a good uh, angle of course so we have a two occipital condyle so these two occipital condyles situated like that you know i have this head i have situated on my first cervical vertebrae so these are facet for that so that is a typical structure there is a nothing more reduced transfer processes no centrum uh, odontoid canal is present now what is odontoid canal not fine i understand suppose this is a first cervical vertebra this is a first cervical vertebra now this is a let's say this is a first cervical vertebra now this is a canal like that in this canal we have something which is present actually like that we have something which is present i do have something to show you let us try and understand this is a perfume bottle <laughs> uh, okay anyway so let's suppose this is a odontoid canal so in this odontoid canal something is present this is actually called as odontoid process or dense the second vertebra of ours that is called excess so excess second vertebra our second vertebra it is also atypical it has something protruding out so that protruding out structure is called dense or odontoid canal this odontoid canal is fit in this odont uh, this odontoid process sorry odontoid process this odontoid process this is present on the second vertebrae cervical vertebrae that is excess now this odontoid process right it is fitted in the odontoid canal like that suppose it is a odontoid canal so it is fitted like that okay and that is why we can move our neck like that we can move basically our skull like that not neck of course and so this is because of second vertebrae of course and the yes movement i mean to say you know no we have occipital condyle which are situated here so i can move my skull like that i can move my skull like that so why i am able to do so i am able to do so this is because of the presence of occipital condyle or rather because of atlas uh, vertebrae atlas vertebrae due to the same reason it is also called as yes vertebrae it is also called as yes vertebrae or yes bone or yes bone or yes bone so this is also something you need to understand again i am repeating there is nothing more you have to learn simply things you have to learn that first vertebrae excess sorry atlas it is atypical vertebrae what is the atypicalness centrum is absent here transfer processes are absent or they are reduced pre and post zygapophysis are absent there is a one more canal that is present that is called odontoid canal in which odontoid processes fit okay facet for occipital condyle are present okay so let us try and see about this vertebrae with the help of a diagram and then with the help of uh, animation you can see here the diagram so this is nothing but this is the what yes please tell me this is what everyone quickly this is central canal this is also called as neural canal this is also called as neural canal can you see this opening this is a opening for odontoid process odontoid canal why because from the second vertebrae there is a process that is called odontoid process it fits like that right i'll show you when we talk about the yes when we talk about excess vertebrae so these are the two main thing that you need to understand reduce transfer process are there okay uh, you can see these are facet that are present for uh, occipital condyle 
right that is about this vertical let us talk about the animation now can you see something which is protruding out can you see here now? this is basically odontoid process this is the second vertebrae the red one the one which is in red it is first i am saying the next to the red that is white one and you can see something is bulging out so this bulging out part it is called as odontoid process right it is called as odontoid process and it is fit in the first vertebrae that is atlas so can you see that this is how the atlas vertebrae is there it is first this is how it look like so now i am much better sure that you are now very clear with that for a better understanding of course do you will watch the second video definitely and now you will get the good idea about excess vertebrae and how excess and atlas make a connection so i think uh, this is about this and that is a for the facet i told you that these are occipital facet these are facet for occipital condyle facet for occipital condyle so these are facet for the occipital condyle and of course these help uh, in the attachment of the skull to this vertebrae next we'll talk about uh, excess vertebrae so i hope i have made myself clear up to this point so you need to understand i have show you everything so you can see this is a skull right this is occipital bone so this is occipital bone and this occipital bone it is holded on this occipital condyle right so again you can take see this this is the x atlas vertebra the one which is in the red color that is actually atlas vertebra and of course it is holding the uh, head this is a structure and this is a thing that we have to talk about so uh, let me i think i'm not hiding anything so you can take the screenshot if you do want to now everyone let us see you now in the next session thank you